everyone, it's Deborah with Pinching Pesos, and sometimes I know that we all have um, misplaced an item, and we can't remember if we previously sold it or if it's actually missing, and we all know that our sales records only go back 90 days, so it can be really difficult to find in, you know, the history of an item that, you know, you might have sold last year. So I wanted to show you really quickly uh, one way that you are able to bring up your history. Um, you can go into PayPal and click on your history button. If you click on download history, it will bring up uh, these options here and you can put your dates in. Let's just say we're going to look for, you know, this year. So we know we bought it this year. We know it must have been sold this year. And then you select the type and you're going to select the comma delimited uh, all activity. And then the most important part here is to include the shopping cart details. So what that's going to do is whenever you bring up the log, it's going to actually have the item information in there. So you click download history and it can take some time uh, depending on how long uh, the history is. I did a report, uh, you can see here, that was for the 17th to the 24th, so it was for a week. It uh, was available for download uh, immediately. I'm not sure how long uh, something that you know is for an entire year is going to take. It says up to 24 hours, uh, but you know if it, you're desperate to try to figure out if you sold something, this is definitely a way to get it. So what's going to happen is, is when you download the file, it's going to bring up something that's kind of messy looking like this. But if you notice right here, it has the actual name uh, of the item. It has your shopping cart information. So you can actually just do a search and we'll just do a search real quickly for Ronco and it's gonna bring it up so say you know I sold a coffee cup I'm not sure if I sold it uh, there we go there's the sheep coffee cup so I know that I sold that item before and um, somehow or another it got relisted or whatnot um, another way that I have looked up uh, whether or not I sold something is uh, to actually go back in my feedback the feedback that I've left um, because I always leave feedback for my customers, every customer, so I can go back into my feedback, um, you know, my left feedback, and uh, do a search in there for, you know, whatever the term might be for the item that I'm looking for, and if I left a feedback, that means I sold it. So anyway, I hope that so anyway, I hope this is helpful for you to be able to figure out, you know, if you sold an item or if it's just missing. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can send me an email at info at pinchingpesos.com or you can leave a comment uh, down below and I will make sure to respond. Uh, but anyway, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like. I have other seller helper videos um, available, uh, so go ahead and take a look at those. And uh, if you have any questions or something in particular that you'd like for me to make a video on, uh, just send me a message and let me know. And if I know how to do it, I'll try to make a video to help you. Thanks. Bye.